It's your boss with the sauce, International Zoe. I'm here at the crib, getting ready for my trip. I'm, you know I'm you know where I'm heading. Cancun, Playa Carmel, Isla Mujeres. Yeah, I'm going to meet my brother, the Flyboy Way. <laughs> my man Fresh, you know, thanks for inviting me. You know, it's, it's tough doing all, everything on your own, going everywhere you need to go on your own, figuring out everything on your own. It's going to feel a little better this time, relaxing a little bit. I have a little more time to relax, you know, and um, I have a little more time to relax and, uh, you know, let other people lead the way, man. I'm just going to check out my new gadgets, my camera. And let me say, this lens on here is definitely making me switch arms. It's heavy. I'm not a gym guy. I need to get in the gym. But I'm switching arms, hands, because this is heavy. This lens is making this hold out. Oh, you know what? Since the um, I took it off 4K, I don't have to hold it all the way out. I could, um, I could bend my arm and still get most of the background in there so yeah and i have to get more used to talking to the lens and not looking at the monitor because the monitor is distracting so yeah let me talk to the lens you know let me get it right but yeah it's definitely um brings on some weight so imagine this lens and the um gimbal i'm definitely gonna have to get in the gym I'm going to have to get in the gym because this lens is makes this lightweight camera significantly more heavy. And if I put it on a gimbal for stabilization, which I plan on doing, I ordered, uh, it's going to be some work. And I have the vest, but I'm not going to walk around with the vest on the gimbal. You know, I'm not, I'm not about to do all of that, but... It's significantly a different amount of weight walking around with this, and that's off a gimbal. You know, maybe turned around the other way on the gimbal. I don't know. I, I haven't done that yet, but this is significantly a different amount of weight. And I'm switching hands frequently because, honestly, it feels heavy. It feels heavy, or, or I'm just not used to it, or maybe I just need to... Um, work out a little more but I don't know maybe somebody else is dealing with the same situation got the similar camera you let me know but this is the um, the new EFM lens from Sigma they had made three lenses specifically for this M50 which is turning this to a beast I could I could already see the clarity the crisp the it's 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 much better than what I was used to and what I was dealing with with the um, kit lens and I bought the other two lenses but this is sharp this is tack sharp uh, I might have to get that 30 millimeter too you know so I can get the uh, the blurry backgrounds and all that but um yeah I've been waiting for this for a little while I've been contemplating getting it and treat myself and I think this is one thing that I've purchased in the last few purchases that I think is really going to make a difference and the gimbal I, I traveled the whole year 2019 and um, I I was um, filming 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 I didn't even know how to edit yet but when I started editing my work I started realizing what I could use and what I couldn't use because of the shakiness, you know. And I did a lot of things with my DJI and a lot of things with the, well, on the beach I'm usually using my GoPro, but they have better stabilization and the DJI is already on a gimbal. So when I was filming with this, it was way too shaky to use. Um, maybe in combination because of the lens and I didn't have a gimbal or any type of stabilization device and the in-house stabilization wasn't that great so now that being said with this now new setup and I ordered a gimbal I ordered a gimbal I ordered the, 
the uh my friend advised me to order the Moza but I couldn't get it to stabilize stabilize and I just got frustrated one and two the Moza is too big it's too big to take travel with you it's a huge uh gimbal is it almost seems like it's too big for the mirrorless m50 like it's too big for that it's for a regular size um professional camera maybe like maybe i could put my um 6d canon 6d on there or something but it almost looks too big for this small m50 mirrorless camera so now i see myself i see the the full background like it should be and i see the difference of shooting in 4k and cropping down the 4k cropped me down so much i was like wait i thought this lens would be good for you know vlogging and then also i couldn't uh change the um uh i know they have face recognition they have the, the options so one of the options is the option that i'm using now and one of the af um options that i'm using now i couldn't use while in 4k so i said okay let me take it off of 4k and put it on, on 1080 and now i see this is how vlogging should be it's you should see this much of the background and this is how you haven't seen me thus far and as i'm taking my focus off the lens and the weight is it's feeling more doable so i think also it's going to come with me one i have to get used to i'm not used to talking to the camera so i'm distracted by the flip screen so you're seeing that and then um if i just get into the concept of what i'm talking about and get focused on what i'm talking about i feel like i'll be able to manage the weight a lot better and um then also work on not looking at the flip screen <laughs> because when I look at the flip screen, it looks obvious that I'm looking at the flip screen. And when I, even when I'm not looking at the flip screen right now, I see it in my peripheral vision. So it's, that's something you got to work on. You got to talk to the lens, not the camera. Matter of fact, you got to talk to the lens. It's your boss, International Zoe. Love is love, life is life, loyalty is priceless. Yes, I'm getting ready to go to Cancun, Mexico. I see why they say shoot in manual, shoot in manual, shoot in manual, because auto be effing you up. Now I see why the professionals say shoot in manual. Just figure it out in manual because auto, auto be jacking you up. So, and with this ND filter, is I can see the reflection of myself in the filter which makes it a lot easier to focus on the lens and not focus on the flip out screen you could glance over to the flip out screen every now and then just to get an idea how you look but it's much easier when you see your face in the ND filter you know you're smack dead in the middle and center of your screen if you choose to be Okay, I'm learning every day, still learning. Uh, like one of the master teachers say, still learning every day. Still learning every day. One. Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. You're watching Barber World TV.